Yo, what is going on everyone? It is Memory here. We are here for our next new anime for the fall anime season of 2020. Everything is underway, right? Like the, the flood, especially with Friday, right? The floodgates have been opened with just a ton of anime coming out. And even today on Saturday, we have a good amount of anime coming out. And even when I was making my lineup video, I was like, I honestly don't know what I'm going to react to on Saturday. But I was mostly banking on this series right here. And that's the Irregular and Magic High School Season 2, the premiere episode. I'm not sure if I'm going to add anything else to Saturday's, honestly. I was thinking about that series from Taipei like that he's writing but I'm, I'm probably gonna watch that on my own time because mostly I'm interested more interested in the show that comes out next week I think next Saturday it's the original from PA Works with Jun Maida on it. I think it's called The Day I Became God or something along those lines. So I might react to that. I'm kind of leaning towards that one more so than the one from Taipei that I was talking about. But definitely for sure, I plan to react to, to the Irregular Magic High School on Saturday at least. So there's going to be one show for me coming out on Saturdays, and it's going to be this one right here, which I actually just finished my rewatch uh, not that long ago because before I rewatched it, just very recently, I hadn't watched the Irregular Magic High School for like a long time, which maybe a lot of you have been waiting even longer because I think it's been like five or six years, maybe even longer than that since the first season aired, which maybe you guys watched the movie. I personally haven't watched the movie and the main reason I haven't watched the movie yet and I talked about in the lineup video is I was questioning like, does this take place after the second season? And, you know, should I watch the movie after the second season? And most of you guys are telling me, yeah, like, the movie spoils stuff for the second season. It takes place after the second season, which I'm just like, why would they do that? Maybe they didn't have plans to do a second season or they maybe it was some kind of, like, a promotional thing or for the novel readers. I'm not really sure, honestly, but that's just kind of weird, kind of odd to me. So maybe you guys, maybe it hasn't been that long for you guys since you last watched something, you know, revolving around the Irregular Magic High School because there was the movie. But if you held off... I guess that kind of works because you can go obviously from this second season, you know, following it weekly into the movie, and that's what I'm gonna do. So, you know, I'm I'm happy to see uh, Tatsuya back in in the cast. Miyuki, of course. There's a lot of cast members in this series. You know, a lot of good characters. I, I would say for sure. I I, I gotta know who's your guys' favorite girl. Who's your guys' favorite? I guess I could say favorite character in the series, but I feel like this series is well Tatsuya because he's a super OP and all that. I mean, he's obviously known, but. There's just a wide range of female cast members in this series. Me, personally, I'm a big Erica fan. I'm a big Erica fan, I gotta say. So, I'm excited to get into more Irregular Magic High School. Apparently, there's stuff with, like, vampires going on or something yeah, from the synopsis, if I remember correctly. Some new girl coming in, so... I'm interested. I'm definitely interested and excited to see what we'll have with this new season of the Irregular Magic High School. So with all that said, I know it was a lot. Let's get into the episode, guys. We're starting at the very beginning, zero seconds, and we're going to get started in three, two, one, play. The other, the other Jesus, Jesus-kun. <laughs> we had, we had Kirito, now we got the other one. But he has a bunch of different nicknames, too. I, I mean, just like Kirito, like... Battle God, like God, whatever you want to call him, like Destroyer. I love how the series goes into magic, too, how they break it down. Like, I've always loved it about this series. Okay, who is that girl? See, like with the mask. See, these are these are things for this season they're setting up. Oh, they said this was the day, the day that changed the, the course of the world. That's what they. That's how they put it. Scorched Halloween. Yeah, the world. It changed the world. Dallas, Texas. Christmas around Christmas time. You got Taku Iwasaki back on the soundtrack, of course. Oh, I, the, Irregular Magic High School is one of my favorite OSTs. Like honestly, it does. So I'm happy that he's back. I think you have some of the staff from the movie Eight Bit, of course, not Madhouse. So. I kind of like the design, though. I kind of, I kind of like it, like the mask. These are gonna be some of the, some of the new characters for this season we're gonna have. Why, Freddy? Why, Fred?
This guy's not saying shit. Is he like under control from someone or possessed, maybe? Apparently he's a pyrokinesis ability user, so he was using that, but I don't know what was up with his eyes right there. She don't she don't want to do it. She don't want to do it. She guess had to. Well, damn, guess we're gonna have to come back and see what happened with that. <laughs> Onisama with this phrase. <laughs> Imagine Oh, look at, yeah, you, the soundtrack for a Christmas party. Hey, I love it. We got our cast here. It's good to see him back. I, I, I really like the Erica and Leo ship. I'm, yeah, I'm just a big, yeah, I like Leo too a lot, but I love Erica. Like, that's my girl. Got Leo, Mikihiko here. Mizuki. Went from like a dubstep to like a calming like piano like <laughs> like a more upbeat maybe not dubstep but it was like you guys know what I'm saying. <laughs> they have a bunch of little ships like these two like they have a bunch of little ships in this Berkeley. That yeah Berkeley's in Cali, and that's like if not the top school in the public school in the in the U S it's like one of the top ones. Pretty sure. <laughs> and it's probably the, I think her name's Lena. I just remember from the synopsis. Foreign exchange student Lena, I think her name was. Oh, okay. So it's the same person. Or it's the same thing. I thought it was a separate person, honestly. She cute. Dude, they just added more waifus to the potential waifus to the cast. Because we already have like a stacked cast. Like, can't forget about Mayumi either. Like the pre you know the the president like there's so many. I know we just got introduced to her, but I, I said that's why I said potentially. <laughs> Suspected uh, strategic class magician, which is Tatsya. Undercover. Yeah, she fits in perfectly with them with her age and all of that. Yeah, like it literally changed the course of just weaponry and like and just war, I guess, what Tatsuya did there. Like that's how they put it, man. It was insane. <laughs> right, like trying to throw Tati off balance, like Ben. Is that his name, Ben? Ben, you you don't know who you talking about, man. You don't know who you talking about. Seems like a good guy, though. Bet you know, you know I, I respect the advice. You know, he's given her the words he's given her, kind of calming or easing her mind, maybe more so. But still, like we're talking about Tatsuya here, so <laughs> throwing him off balance.
So Shizuku's leaving, apparently. And this girl's gonna be coming in. New Year. Damn. Damn. <laughs> I was just about to say the same thing. The New Year. Like, look how she arriving, though. Like, look how they're arriving in style. Like. <laughs> hey, there's Sensei here too. Wait, where's Sensei? Yo, Sensei just <laughs> he just like popped up. <laughs> it's like Miyuki, you know, Miyuki and Tatsuya come out, and it's like I wasn't I wasn't expecting anyone else to be honest. It's like he's just chilling there. <laughs> Oh, there she is. There she is. He's already noticed her. <laughs> She's not doing that good of a job already off the bat. <laughs> She's pretty, yeah, not as much as you. He, I mean, he's not lying about that. He, he's right. He's... <laughs> I'm being serious. Like, <laughs> come on. Yeah, we're gonna get a lot more of this this season, as always, and a lot of Oni Samas. She she's not doing that good of a job. I I know she said she's like, this isn't what she's used to or anything like that, or she's nervous about introducing herself. This is like her. For okay, so this is her introducing. She's just shy. Yeah, they're making this seem like some epic, like, introduction or something, you know? Like, the music and the... Damn. <laughs> She's like, keep an eye out for me. Like... <laughs> She's very pretty, though. She She definitely is. Like I said, just they're adding another... Another candidate in here, another one in the mix, like not wanting to stand up, and she like definitely stood out. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. So you stood out. So you stood out like a sore thumb. <laughs> what are we watching? What are we watching right now? Not an anime. Yeah, I I wasn't sure if that was supposed to be like her like okay introducing herself to them or if it was a part of the whole I guess it goes together like her undercover shit. But I was like, man, either way she's not doing a really good job if she was introducing herself to them or if she's doing her undercover shit like <laughs> she she wasn't she didn't really do a good job which she said this isn't her whole thing, right? She's not used to this. This is something new for herself. I guess it makes sense. There she is. <laughs> shh, shh. 
Angelina Kudo Shields. <laughs> she just did that like instinctively. <laughs> yeah, like. <laughs> oh, Horika. She's pretty, man. She's really, she's really cute. She's as is like most of the girls in this series, but. This is interesting, though, because she's here to investigate him and kind of be like this undercover person, so. Mm, Tatsu's like, hmm, really? Oh, okay. Everyone, <laughs> everyone's here to see this. <laughs> Exchange student. They want to see what she's got. Well, Miyuki, uh, Miyuki's here too, but I mean. <laughs> oh, so they already went one time? Okay. There's Mayumi. See, I I love when they do that. Like, so a lot of the shit with the magic is over my head. I, I'll I'll be the first to admit it. Like, I'm not gonna act, sit in here and act like I understand every single thing, but I still appreciate you know like how they kind of break it down most of the time. You know, in this series, it's not like shit just happens and you're just like, okay. Like, there's no explanation or anything. Like, they actually explain it most of the time. With shit that happens. <laughs> She's definitely not cut out to be a spy. Assuming Lena is serious. So serious is the thing she like turns into or whatever. Or has the ability to do so. That red haired girl with the mask. I thought it was a separate person. Like honestly. They kind of... That was that's surprising. So we get a lot more of these girls, Mia, Sylvie. So are these all characters, if you guys have watched the movie, are these characters you guys are already familiar, you guys probably are already familiar with these characters, depending how much they went into them with the movie. Because I'm not obviously familiar with them at all. <laughs> I mean, we haven't really saw them be on good terms, like, what it, they're just kind of civil, I guess. It's just like how students, I guess, classmates should be. Like, Onto, onto ya. <laughs> ah! 
<laughs> dude, <laughs> dude, he's just he's just a high school student. Like, you know what Ben was saying like earlier. Like, <laughs> Ben was saying just whatever he said. I'm just like, come on, man. This is Tatsu. She's saying he's just a normal high school student. Like. Mm, they they this they trying to pick each other's brain or like you know they're trying to get these things out of each other. You challenging him to a fight? Yeah, that you, you hold up, Lena. You you should chill. You should probably chill, Lena. You should probably chill. Oh, what what, what, did, what did you think? What, I mean, we all know what, what we thought was gonna happen, but or knew what was gonna happen. Damn. <laughs> right, you were aiming right at my face. Like, what? What, what did you expect me to do? Who's the pre who's the president now in 2095? Like, <laughs> yeah, like only <laughs> you must be a really high class magician. You must be. <laughs> yeah, obviously, we we know already. She's not really good at this. Like, 2095 though. I wonder who like who the president is in the in the U.S. I think it's 2095, right? Like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they got she got like the whole Sundere thing kind of going on too. It's like, yep. That's just a little one of the signs, though, that you should probably not mess with Tatsuya. Like, that's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard for her. She's probably found this out already. Japan. Okay. That's kind of a problem. Is it not? <laughs> Probably should know. Her second priority. That's getting pushed to the side.
She has a lot on her. She has a lot on her plate. She has a lot on her plate right now, huh? Oh, and here are the fugitives. Wait, is that that same guy? That Freddy guy? Because we didn't even see. Damn, we still didn't see what happened at the end of that when she shot him. I guess maybe it didn't do anything or she he ended up getting out of there or she wasn't able to finish the finish the deal. Because that his eyes glue up the same way. I know there's something with like a vampire or something. I remember reading about that with the synopsis. So I don't know if this is related to that or if this is something else. But Lena certainly has her hands full though. <laughs> That's for sure. Is this Asuka? Yeah, this is Asuka. Erika! They do a good job of giving, you know, everyone kind of their shine. I like this. I like this. And look how they leave it off. Of course, of course. <laughs> All right, man. All right. So this is a this is a nice way to come back. I gotta say, uh, you know, really just throwing us into the next kind of obviously the transfer student Lena, her introduction, and all of that. I feel like this is a nice way to you know start off a season. Obviously, with kind of her undercover operation, which she's not good at. Makes sense. I mean, it's her first time ever really doing something like this. So she has that going on, and then now she has this. Right? They they've, apparently they've came, you know they've come to Japan. So um, these fugitives or whatever, which it looked like I guess it might be that Freddy guy again or something, or maybe some I could be someone else. I don't really know, but I mean it's not just one person. We saw multiple. So Lena definitely has her her hands full. I wonder, you know, they said it was just kind of like a secret operation or whatever, but I wonder does she maybe try to get some help from Todd's here, try to get some help from the others? That may, like, her taking up everything by herself, I don't really know about all that. I'm, I'm sure she's pretty formidable in her own way, but I don't I don't know. I don't know. From what we saw before, seems like she's kind of maybe hesitant about taking action or maybe having to kill someone or something along those lines, right? She's Maybe she's kind of hesitant about that. So I wouldn't be surprised if maybe she goes to, like, Tatsia or some of the others and tries to get their help with this and try to keep it still under... Maybe it blows up into something that, right, the, the like the Japanese government does end up actually finding out about or knows about. Like, more people becomes more widespread or something. But, like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if maybe, you know, she does get help from Tatsuya and some of the others at some point. But, in because I don't want her to take it up all on herself. Or maybe, you know, something happens to her and then Tatsuya finds out about it somehow or gets involved. They're They're going to be involved somehow, some way, I feel like, but... Uh, you know, Lena, I, I kind of like her introduction. She kind of has that Sundere thing going on. Obviously, adds another potential waifu candidate, I guess, to to the mix because there's a lot in this series. So I, I, I like her. I, I like her. She, she's pretty cute. She has like uh, obviously not doing a really good job. You know, she's trying, but she just she's failing <laughs> with with this. I mean, it's Tatsuya she's dealing with. So I mean, we got to cut her some slack. But uh, yeah, she. You know, I I think it's just kind of interesting though, in general, how you know, what her mission is, what her objective is, and she's kind of in here intermixed with our students, you know, at, at first high. So we'll see what happens going forward. That apparently, though, is being pushed to the side, and now we're dealing with something, I would say, a lot more serious. So, or at least Lena's dealing with something a lot more serious. So we'll see what happens. I really like, I think that's the OP from Asuka. I really like that OP uh, as well with Asuka. Just ever since I think I've listened to Asuka, like, I've not been disappointed, you know, the, some of the songs on, like, the song on SAO, like, they're coming in here with another banger, so that's awesome. Cannot wait to hear, I think, the ED uh, next episode, I would imagine. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to more of the Irregular Magic High School. Feels good to be back with the series, although I finished my rewatch, like, probably a week or two ago, so I'm coming fresh off of season one, but for, like I said, for a lot of you guys, it's probably been a long time, so... Uh, yeah, we'll see what we have going forward. Let me know what you all thought of this first episode of the second season of the Irregular Magic High School. If you guys did enjoy my reaction, make sure you drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you for watching. Peace out.